All right, it's a smart investment to try to raise your net worth, but how do you go about doing that? And how are we going to go buy that boat? boat? <laughs> <laughs> Here to give us some proven ways to increase your net worth is the one and only our money expert, Mr. Brent Wilsey. Good morning, Brent. Good morning. How are you doing? I, I'm doing great because apparently this morning you're going to tell me how to increase my net worth. Right. right. How do we go about doing this? And we're not going to talk about boats. No, because you already told me that's a sinking investment. You get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. His very words, good, right? not mine. <laughs> I'm stealing his thunder. Okay, but how do we do it? What are these sure. proven ways? Uh, you got to change your mindset. I mean, one thing you got to think about if you're going to go out and buy like a laptop computer or phone or whatever, you might say, okay, it's going to be $600. Okay, no big deal. But think about how much you make per hour. Okay. If you make like, we'll say $25 an hour, uh, you're talking, you got to work 24 hours to pay for that $600 thing you did. Ouch. Well, yeah, exactly, so yeah. you change, well, maybe I don't really want that now because I, I gotta spend too much for it. Um, another important thing too is pay yourself first. You're gonna do your bills. Set aside before you pay your bills, put in there your investment amount, how much you're gonna invest and so forth. So you're paying yourself, you're not gonna be, oh, there's no money left over. What about just a, a savings? Is by investment, does it have to be something that has a high yield or a high ROI? Or mm -hmm. does it, it, can it be a, just a high interest savings account? You, you gotta fit the uh, uh, need with the tool, so to speak. And okay. if you're investing long term, which you should be doing, you should not do a savings account because you're not gonna get a very good return on it. You should do your 401k, IRA, or just a good uh, stock investment account. What you about do. younger kids? Because my daughter, she's 17, I always mm -hmm. talk about my daughter. So, um, and she was, she's worried about paying the school bills, you right. know, and so she said, should she put money in an account, like a savings account that she's going to get a yield from in four years to help pay off that school loan? Or does that just not have enough of a return? Probably not. I mean, it depends on the situation, but I, I, I like to see like a younger person start saving. And again, it may only be $25 a month. That's, it adds up? It adds, exactly. Yeah. That's the thing I want to look at. And don't worry about that school bill, because the reason why you're doing that is hopefully down the road, you're going to have a job that's going to pay more, so then you can pay that loan because your income has gone up. So. Oh, gosh. I hope you're right there. <laughs> okay, so pay yourself. I like that. What about um, housing and transportation and food costs? These are the big ones. I mean, if the, you can The big three, right? The big three, right. Mm -hmm. If you can just save like 10% on those, you're going to do extremely well what you have to do is saying and you go to buy a new car well you're always kind of bumped up to buy the car with the extra options stick to what you want to do um, also to watch when you and I've seen this all the time with people decorating remodeling you mm. always spend more than you're going to get a budget stick to it and maybe you don't do quite as much as you want to but again you gotta save that money to never it. happens never you watch <laughs> the shows right I know a lot of women right now saying why is he saying no, that right? I, don't even know. I don't even know what words you're using right now but yeah you plan to spend forty thousand, and they never stay even close right. to that budget so that's a big budget right. buster right there and very simply i mean when you have a grocery list have the list go to the grocery store and stick to it because companies are very good at marketing to where they put stuff on the shelf oh now you need that you don't mm -hmm. you, you make your list you go shopping and that's all you get don't get anything else and even just making that detail seeing it in front of you so you don't kind of veer off what about getting a raise at work what, what you I mean does that mean go treat yourself well maybe a little bit because you reward yourself but but again you get a $200 a month raise you were doing fine before, take that $200 a month and save it, invest it. You, you're looking at building your net worth five, 10 years down the road, all of a sudden like, oh wow, I'm worth three, I'm worth 500,000. I feel like something because of these things you've done is, is very important. It's so true because you live within your means mm -hmm. and then when you look at that over the years and you're like, wait, I'm making $15,000 more, why am I not seeing more money in the yes. piggy bank? And I know everybody out there says, yeah, that happened to me, what did yeah. that raise go from 20 years right. ago? Yeah, so, and the other thing too is, is just, you've got to just determine, is it a need or a want? And that's a big one because a lot of times you buy stuff and then, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's true. That's I mean, so it, sad right now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Is it a need or a want? I think you know the answer to that question yeah. most of the time, at least for me, 99% of it. Yeah. yeah, it's a want. So, it, it's okay, want. good advice though, because you're talking about increasing the bottom line, and uh, those are all very practical, practical and mm -hmm. realistic. Yes, so, yes, good stuff. And, and then uh, on uh, uh, the 20th of June, we yes. have a workshop coming up, and okay. these are things we talk about the workshop, trying to help people understand more about investing and so forth. So that's the. Where can they get information about that? Uh, I don't know if we gave it to you or not. Uh, sometimes we give it to you guys, sometimes we don't. We, we always advertise here on, on KSF okay. for you guys. So, <laughs> That's what we so like. it pops up, yeah. <laughs> Increasing our bottom line. All right, Brent, thanks so much. You're welcome. Okay, a free service is available.